Okay. Good Samaritan. I actually saw a gopher tortoise laying some eggs in a very troublesome area. Dug them up, put them in a bucket, and now I just brought them to us. Um, so we're going to uh, hatch these guys out. There's one that's already hatched as of last night, so I'll put on the stop action camera just to make this a little bit more fun before we actually turn them over to the state. And that's where we're at for now. So anyway, there's one cute little baby. There's my GoPro set at two frames per second. Got a light here over top. And we will uh, see how well this works overnight. All right, that's it for now. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Babies. Oh, yeah, and, and, and we even have some more to be set free. So this will be awesome. Okay, that's it. Did you need private time? <laughs> Did you need a private time there, Dutch? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my insanity. I just thought they were a little loud in the other room, so I thought I would like make it quiet in here. But it didn't work. Alright. Last week I was handed a uh, freshly hatched gopher tortoise in that bucket. I thought it would be cool to put the GoPro on there and see if I can catch these guys hatching. Uh, things seeing as how they usually pop out about the same time. And it turns out that none of these are hatching. So we just finished taking some x-rays. I'm going to develop these x-rays and then mark these eggs specifically and see what if there's uh, something in there that would be worth taking out. Anyway, so that's what it looks like as of now. And this could be kind of cool. So anyway, they were in there. We've hatched them out. Getting x-rays of them here. And the baby is already in the other bucket. All right, later. All right, then we move to this. And in a minute, I will go look at the x-rays and see which one of these is going to cut open. And I'm just probably, probably going to cut them all open, but let's see what it does next. All right, that's it for now. All right. Uh, it turns out that uh, after these x-rays are done, looked at them, I was not seeing any skeletons inside there or anything that I would consider a formidable part of a tortoise. So at that point in time, I opted to uh, go ahead and clean them up. Uh, then sterilely went inside each one. And it didn't make a difference how sterile it was because every one of those things was ransacked with some really, really nasty smelling stuff. Um, I am just very glad that I masked and, and gloved and had on my safety goggles because the whole back of the hospital was almost as bad as skunk day. Anyway, so uh, just in case there's ever a need for x-rayed, non-viable gopher tortoise eggs, you can say you saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some vet student somewhere may be wanting to do some kind of a, a article on it. So that's one of the reasons I always add these things. So if somebody's going to complain about the, the long pictures and the increased amount of time we're wasting, somewhere in this information-intensive world, someone will have a chance to use this data. And I'm just glad to get it there. All right. These turtles uh, didn't make it. Uh, looks like they were all uh, non-viable to begin with, so with that in mind, it's not like they died. So anyway, uh, we got one, and that's uh, better odds than nothing. We'll be uh, turning him over to the state tomorrow morning, and life will be good. All right, have a good one.